Hi folks, so this is a video to show just a little bit of what we're working on in terms of uh, ship dynamics and ship motion. So here I'm on the deck of the Coral Sea in extremely heavy weather, and so we're going to take off and go have a look at what the ship is doing. Uh, you'll see her pitching a lot right now because we are... Uh, the wind is just off our port bow, uh, and uh, this is very, very heavy weather, so she's pitching a whole lot, and my uh, helicopter flying skills leave much to be desired, but here we are. There you can see. Uh, and so what I'm going to do in a second is uh, make a turn so you can see what happens as the bow passes through through the axes of the waves and and then uh, she falls off the uh, wave axes until eventually the waves are uh, on the beam and uh, you'll see how the uh, how the motion changes so let's do a turn here let's go uh, left 90 degrees here execute here we are now uh, we're starting the turn, and you'll see the the uh, what'll happen as she falls off the uh, uh, wind and the wave axes uh, is uh, you'll start to see the uh, the pitch motion will get a little bit less, and it'll also get more irregular. Uh, it'll get more random. The uh, roll motion, on the other hand, will do the opposite. It will get more regular and uh, and much in, in larger amplitude, and also the frequency will decrease. And the the frequency of the uh, or the the median frequency, I should say, uh, of the uh, pitching motion will decrease a little bit. So right now, I think we're passing right about through the wind. Right now, um, it might have already passed it through it a little bit, and the the wave axis is set to coincide with the wind at this point. So here we come. We can see it start to roll a little bit as we come off the wind. Um, and all of this is based on uh, a number of declassified papers from the Defense Technical Intelligence Center, which, uh, which mathematically detail the, uh, the motion of uh, several classes of, or at least a couple classes of aircraft carriers in various sea states. So there you can see her starting to roll a bit as we come off the wind. Let's see if I can, this probably will work better if I just keep the helicopter pointed into the wind here. You can see where the wind is at. So now it's, it's uh, getting close to the beam right now. And you can see her starting to roll. There we go. And uh, so this is something that we have coming. There's also some amount of heave motion in there, which is the vertical displacement of the uh, of the of the ship's actual center of gravity, just a little bit, and also a little bit of yawing, which is a little bit hard to see from this angle. Uh, the other thing we're working on in conjunction with this is the various full stabilization modes. So you'll be able to to select manually which flows stabilization mode you would like uh, and uh, and you'll be able to see that uh, in action I'll post that in a later video so there you can see now the winds basically on the beam and it's rolling she's rolling uh, uh, quite a good deal and the pitch has decreased and become more random and the roll has increased in amplitude and become more regular and also a little bit slower.